In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss offer curves in terms of trade. In your book, you'll see a diagram like this. And I'm going to explain to you in great detail how this diagram is assembled. This diagram represents different levels of trade and how countries offer up exports for imports. I'm going to show you in detail how these trade triangles are built based upon exports and imports. I'm going to construct three triangles for three levels of trade, and I'll walk you through how these are built. And I'm going to do this for three different price levels, and I'll explain to you what those mean as well. I need to spend about five minutes reviewing single country gains from trade. If you don't want to review, you can skip ahead about five minutes in the video. To simplify things, I'm going to look at a single country, only two goods, good Y and good X. This red line represents a country's production possibilities frontier. I am going to draw in a trading line, which is the ratio of price of good X to price of good Y. I'm going to draw in some indifference curves. And these indifference curves are called community indifference curves or country indifference curves. They're typically labeled as CI. So I have CI1, CI2, and if I had more, I'd keep labeling them. And this is CI3, of course. Now, in the beginning, a country will produce and consume at that point right there. Domestic production and domestic consumption is represented by that point. At this point, there are no imports and no exports. The country will consume and produce X1, which is that black line, that distance right there production and consumption of X1. The country will consume and produce Y1, that distance right there, production and consumption. And again, this is before trade. Now imagine markets open up. Price of Y is lower internationally. So the trade line rotates like that. Now, the country can consume on a higher indifference curve. And at first, it still produces at the same point until it adjusts. And I'll show you that in a second. So domestic production is right there. Now we have different levels of good Y and good X. The consumption of good Y goes up. And the country imports. And the import, Y2 minus Y1. That's the quantity of imports. At first, there's a reduced consumption of good X. And the reduced consumption is X1 minus X2. That's the quantity of reduced consumption. Now the country begins to adjust and change production levels. It starts to produce more of good X and less of good Y. And now, domestic production is that level, and domestic consumption is that level. The country is able to reach a higher indifference curve. The country stays on the same production possibilities frontier, but it changes levels of production. So it moves from this point down to the purple point, so it produces more X and less Y. So this is the new level of domestic production. And the country is able to reach a higher indifference curve. Consume more. Consumption is the green dashed lines, and the country will consume at levels X3 and Y3. The purple lines are the levels of production, X4 and Y4. For good X, the country will consume at a level of X3 and produce at a level of X4. 
So production is greater than consumption and the country exports the difference. The country consumes a lot of good Y. In fact, at a level of Y3, let me draw a green line in. The country will produce good Y at a level of Y4. Notice consumption is greater than production. Since consumption is greater than production, the country has to import the difference. And this, in a nutshell, is a country's exports and imports. The country will increase its consumption of good Y, and it will increase its consumption of good X, both. The country will decrease production of good Y, that amount, and it will increase production of good X. Review time is over. Now I'm going to talk about offer curves. So now I'm going to draw in another indifference curve. So the price of Y is cheaper internationally. The country can reach a higher indifference curve right there and production shifts. And that's what I just talked about. So consumption at that level, production shifts down to that level right there. Let me just fade out some of this stuff so you can see. Now you'll see a little triangle area right Hopefully I'll draw that in right there. The height of that triangle is the imports, or Y3 minus Y2, the imports. That's the height of the triangle. And you're probably guessing that the base is exports, and that is correct. The base of the triangle is exports. And that's my first triangle. Now imagine the price of Y drops even more. The country begins to shift its level of production to a new level, still on the production possibilities frontier, and it increases its level of consumption. So the green dot is the new level of consumption, and the purple dot is the level of production. The new level of consumption is Y3, that distance right there, consumption. And that's the new level of production, Y2. And the difference is, are the imports. And this will be the height of my new triangle. The base of the triangle are the level of exports. The country will produce at level X2. And its level of consumption will be X3. Since production is greater than consumption, it exports the difference. And that is the base of the triangle. And I'll shade this in purplish. The price of good Y goes down again. The country can reach a higher indifference curve. So consumption it's at that point, which now consumption is even more at Y3. I'll keep up Y3. Uh, and consumption of good X also increases. Production of good X goes up, and production of good Y goes down. X2 minus X3 is the level of exports. And the level of imports is the difference between Y3 and Y2. Let me shade this triangle in. I'll shade it in green. So what I'm really showing is an increase in willingness to trade when the price of Y goes down. I built these three triangles based upon a ratio of price of good X to price of good Y. And that's the first one. This is the ratio of the second one, second price levels. And this is the ratio of the third price levels. So now, let me just show you these triangles. So I have built these three triangles. Let me just separate them out right like that. The height of the triangles are the imports, and the base are the exports. The height or the imports. It turns out the slope of the hypotenuse is the ratio of the prices of good X and good Y at three different levels. 
Now, I'm going to draw another graph. On the horizontal axis, I have exports of X, good X, and imports of good Y on the vertical axis. Now I'm going to take that blue triangle and float it down and flip it, and then move it into place, put it all the way down at the origin, right there. That distance there is the level of exports, and the height is the level of imports. And that little dot right there is the terms of trade, or the trade level, at point one. The slope of the hypotenuse is still the ratio of price X to price Y. Now let me draw in the next trade triangle. Exports is that distance. Imports is that distance. So the, where they intersect right there is trade level 2, T2. Now for the last triangle, the base is exports again, and the height is imports. This represents three different levels of trade. The slope of the hypotenuse of these three triangles is the ratio of price of good X to price of good Y at three different levels. Now I collect these three dots, and bada bing, right there is my offer curve. How beautiful. Makes me want to weep. So now, as you see, this offer curve is built upon three little triangles, and I showed you how to build the, the three little triangles. Could be a nursery rhyme. Three little triangles. Good luck in your classes, and always remember to share the knowledge. Share the knowledge, share the love. Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. Questions and comments below, and please like me and subscribe. I'm always posting new stuff.